So the general goal is to try and lose a pound of fat over the course of a week. But what does a pound of fat look like? Hold tight, because I'm going to show you. Firstly, fat stored in the body as adipose tissue. Adipose tissue being made of predominantly 8% fat to 20% water. So we're going to be eliminate your 20% water weight, as we know that water holds some calories. When we convert a pound of fat into grams, you're looking at about half a kilo, therefore 500 gram. And when we minus the 20% water weight from the 500 gram weight, we're left with 400 gram of fat. And we know that a gram of fat is equivalent to nine calories. So we need a times the 400 gram by nine cows, giving us a total of 3,600 calories. When we change that per day, you're looking at 515 calories per day. Which isn't a lot, right? So we need to be in a deficit of either 3,600 per week or a calorie deficit of 515 calories per day. So, depending on your current calories and of your body weight will be key determinants in how harsh of a calorie deficit you should go in. Take myself for an example. To maintain my body weight, I am eating 2,800 calories per day. If I wanted to lose that pound a week, I would minus 500 calories off my daily intake, which would take me down to 2,300 calories, which isn't so harsh of a calorie deficit. In four weeks and eight weeks' time, I'd probably decrease it by another 10% to accommodate for lower calorie expenditure and also lower meat levels. But again, it wouldn't be such a harsh calorie deficit. This might be the same for someone who's obese, overweight, or generally taller and bigger. So if you compare this to someone who has quite low maintenance calories because they're smaller, let's say for instance, they're eating 1,750 calories per day to maintain body weight. You wanna lose a pound of fat per week, therefore we lose 500 calories per day, take them down to 1,250 calories, that'd be deemed as quite a low and harsh calorie deficit. Not impossible, but harsh. Now, if you look at this 1,250 calories, that would be pretty close to their BMR level. The repercussions of that would be fatigue and tiredness, lack of sleep, hunger's gonna go up, sex drive is gonna go really down. People might notice that the nails aren't growing as quick or as strong, and the same with the hair. Life's gonna be pretty shit. So when we plan a calorie deficit, we need to be clever about how we execute it. Note, it isn't a race, so plan accordingly, realistically, and work hard. Remember, we shouldn't be living in a calorie deficit, nor should we be bobbing and weaving in and out of one. So again, plan accordingly, and realistically, work hard, smash those goals. You can still enjoy your life, you just need to accommodate for it. And if you ever need any help or support, throw me a message. I'm here.